Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. Hope that all of you are doing well. So, as you know, the One UI 8 watch update is now finally available for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 and the Watch 6 series, and there are multiple new features and changes available that today I'll cover in this video. So simply head over to Settings, go to Software Update, select Download and Install, and there we go. You'll get a notification on this new update of this One UI 8 watch, or you can even update it from the phone. Let me show you. Open the Galaxy Wearable app. Here you'll get an update notification. Or still, if you didn't find it, go to Watch Settings. Here choose Watch Software Update, and you can download and update the watch from here itself. And if we go into this update, the update size is about 1.9 GB, which is very huge and with the latest September security patch update. And also, you need to follow up these cautions. During the update, you won't be able to use your watch. Some watch settings may change. Your personal data won't be affected, but if you have very important data, you can back it up. But it's mostly not necessary. Well, it's a stable update. And if we go to the update logs, they have made a lot of changes, a lot of improvements visually that I'll show you all of these in this video. So without wasting time, let's download and install the update. Also make sure the watch should be charged at least 50% or above. So here I'll fast forward this process. And there we go. Finally, the watch is updated to the latest One UI 8 version. We got a welcome screen, so tap on start. And see the what's new here, like the new features and changes they have made. Now let's go to home. And there we go. And this time, the UI got completely changed to new with new icons and theme. And the control panel also got changed. You can see the battery icon at the top got changed to pill shaped. The panel is transition is smooth. And they have also changed the tiles. Shortcuts completely got changed to a new visual look. And if we go to the app screen, at the top they placed the recent apps icon in a separate position on the app screen. And if we go to the bottom, they added a set view option. If we go to it, you can set enable featured apps based on your usage. And you can also change the view of the apps to grid or list view. If I select the list and all the apps will appear like this. The recent apps will look the same as before, but for me personally, I'll prefer the grid style view to view all my apps together at a point of view. In this update, definitely, I'll say that the touch response got improved, the animations got smooth and better. And now let's talk about the tiles. Here the tiles got completely changed to a new visual look. And this time you can combine widgets into a custom tile based on your preference or an activity or based on events you set. They completely redesigned it into a new theme. Simply let's add a new tile. You can customize your tiles with multiple elements. Let's add stress monitor. And on the same tile, let's add one more widget. It's added. You can add a number of widget elements into a custom single tile. That's actually pretty useful and easy to access your preferred shortcuts. And anyways, let's go to watch settings. And here there are minor changes. Let's go to about watch and software information. And yes, it's currently running on the latest One UI 8 based on Wear OS 6 with Android 16 system base version. And here in settings, everything will be the same as usual, like in the previous version with some tweaks. Like the battery, it's the same as usual. Connections also the same. And in sound and vibrations, all these options remain the same. Let's go to device care. It's pretty much the same. And out of two gigs of RAM, 484 metabyte is available, you can clean it to improve memory. And one more new change is the charging animation. And take a look. This is the old charging animation. And this is the new charging animation. I don't know, but I like the older animation. Now let's go and check the health app. Here they added new medications. To track your medications, like if you take medicines based on time, I'll show you. And one more. They added mindfulness, like you can check your mood and you can do breathing exercises. You can enter your mood check-in, like how you are feeling, good or bad or awesome, and emotions you are feeling, what's making you feel this way. You can set it based on your mood. As mentioned, you can take a deep breath, so choose a breathing exercise based on relaxation. Put this watch on your wrist and start doing it. Or if you want to end this session, you can stop it.
And now let's go to medications. As mentioned, you can track your meds you take daily on time. Like here, you can add your medication or a medicine you take every day. Or you can scan the name of the medicine or tablet, capsule, whatever it might be. You can set the date and time you follow the medication so that it will remind you every day like a regular reminder, it will notify you. And getting into others, like all other things remain the same. The stress monitoring, heart rate, and blood oxygen monitoring are the same, like no change. And all other basic apps remain the same. Let's go to the Galaxy Buds. It's the same as usual, I'll just connect to my Buds 3 Pro, and yes, it's working fine without any problems. There are no connection problems in this update. Let's check the camera app. And it's almost the same. No change. Let's capture a photo. And a video. Now let's check the gallery app. It's still the same as the last version. Let's go to music. No new change here. But one more change is here. They implemented now bar. Let me show you. So here I'll open stopwatch or timer. Now go to the home screen. Just tap on now bar here. And all right, here we are running stopwatch and music right here. That's very useful to access multiple ongoing activities on a single bar. And one more feature, just go to settings, go to buttons and gestures, scroll down. You'll find the double pinch gesture. Also enable shake, knock knock gestures you already know, like I already shown in my recent watch videos. And with this double pinch gesture, you can directly access the now bar and control the actions with finger gestures, or you can set any other apps you prefer to directly access it. And now let's talk about the watch faces. In this update, they featured new watch faces for one UI8 watch. They added Sporty Classic Face, Heritage Classic, Daily Dashboard, Circle Dashboard, Minimal Analog, Digital, and Dynamic Digits. You can simply allow and install the watch face you like prefer. And also, if we scroll down there, they added a Discover Watch Faces tab. Here you can explore watch faces based on their theme style, colors, and information you want on the watch face. You can select these options based on your preference and find the perfect watch face that fits your watch. And you can see, this is minimal analog. It's completely on dark mode and looks amazing and clean. And this is dynamic style face. This one also looks good. And if you want to view all the detailed stats, the daily dashboard will be better. And these are some of the new changes. And one more thing I forgot to mention, in the health app, go to workout exercises and here they added a new running coach. You can find your running level. It will determine which distance you are ready to train for. It will take a short survey and measure your aerobic capacity. You can get the guidance and motivation to run faster and further based on the levels you are in, and that's it. These are the main changes in this update. Also, a lot of you still have a doubt. Can we still sideload apps onto this watch after this update? Well, yes, you can. The wireless debugging option still remains the same as usual. But maybe the future update policies might change, as we heard about the new Google policy changes after this year. And what about the performance of the watch? Yes, the app launch load speeds improved a bit faster with good response times. And also, if we compare this new One UI 8 with the old One UI 6, you'll notice a lot of differences and changes in UI style. The control panel change. The app screen difference. And also, take a look at the tiles. It's completely redesigned with custom multiple widgets. And the notification panel got changed here. And also, this is my old Galaxy Watch 4. It's going to get the same One UI 8 update very soon, but it will be the last and final major update for the Watch 4 series. Now let's check out the wireless charging. Here, I'll simply place my phone here. Let's put the watch on it. Wait, what? It's not working. The charger is not compatible with my Watch 7. Let's try with my old Watch 4. And yes, it's working fine. My Galaxy Buds 3 Pro? Yes, my Galaxy S21? And yes, and it even works with the iPhone. I don't know why they blocked it on the Galaxy Watch 7, 8, and Ultra models. And that's pretty much it for the new One UI 8 watch update on the Galaxy Watch. Overall, it feels smoother, looks more polished, 
and brings a few useful feature upgrades that make the whole experience even better. If you've already updated, let me know your thoughts down below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.